Hey, hey, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. You guys, you guys look cool. Do you you want to do an interview? Um, do we have a choice? Not really. Oh, yeah, I think, okay. we ha- I think we have to. Yeah, Ali is for yeah, we love we love that. Yeah, we l- look at the beautiful scenery we have. Yeah, so I'm at Gen Con and and Sorry. I'm with the AARPGs and this is a silver alert. You guys are part of that. Isn't that amazing? That's the best. And, and who are you guys? So I'm Dane Miller from No Quest for the Wicked. Wow. I'm Niall Spain, also from No Quest for the Wicked. That's amazing. And we have race car drivers. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so awesome. So uh, I, I want to thank you for being on our show. This is great. I, I, I've actually seen your work. Listen to your work. It's, it's awesome. You have a Starfinder actual play podcast. We do, yeah. yeah how, how's that going for you? Uh, it's going very well. We're nominated for a Crit Award for Best Legacy Podcast. Wow. And he's also nominated for Best GM for Paizo, so don't let him be humble. That's uh, pretty amazing. So are, are there any other uh, cool podcasts nominated for the Crit Awards? I don't um, think so. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let, no. let me think. <laughs> there think was so. one. Uh, there was one. I think it was Unprepared. Ca- no. The <laughs> AARPGs, of course. Of course. Wow. That's cool. We were nominated for a, a Legacy Podcast Award. That's You're awesome. who I voted for, so. <laughs> oh, thank you. I voted for Don't tell Dane. <laughs> But so so uh, uh, that's amazing. You guys, uh, how many episodes have you done so far of uh, this? Uh, show? I believe we're ending on sixty-nine. Sixty. Nice. 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 <laughs> that's great. So so, what's the reception been like? Uh, what's it, what's it feel like to actually finish uh, after sixty-nine episodes? It's really intense. Honestly, um, we have like wonderful listeners we have a discord where like people are really really cool and like sends messages per episode and like it's nice to come off an episode that you felt so much of and then see that people kind of give that same emotion back Mm -hmm. uh it's it's been really intense honestly like i'm excited for what's coming but like i still can't really believe we're ending it's crazy and and you're the gm so what's it like for you to actually kind of complete the story finish this arc yeah, it's it, it's it's almost like I mean I think you said it at one point in time. It's like it's almost kind of like breaking up. Right? Yeah, like it, there's like an emotional weight to it where it's like you know you've run your course, you've done you've done what you've, you've need to do, and it's like it's not a bad breakup, it's not a messy breakup, but it is. There is still like a it's, sadness, still a of heartbreak. Like, yeah, of there's, like, there's yeah. still a sadness of like saying goodbye to these characters, and saying goodbye to this world, and saying goodbye to these this, this story. Um, it's it's a bittersweet moment of 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 watching a lot of hard work and a lot of perseverance come through, and and the the payoff for it. It's 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 bittersweet. It's it's really really lovely. So, do you have anything big in store? Uh, a plan for uh, after this uh, arc is run, run its course? Uh, we've we've got a couple things. So right now we're running a uh, campaign with Gehenna Gaming for Elder Tatamata. Yeah, it's uh, a mech and horror game, and it's phenomenal. It just got like massively like funded, like a hundred and like fourteen hundred percent funded. Yeah, it's um, incredible. It's a great game, well worth playing. And then uh, after we wrap season one, we're going to do a quick little. Uh, brief jump into Tales of the Valiant, which is Cobalt Press's new system, oh. uh, with a really, really great yeah, cast. We, like a we haven't campaign. announced our guests yet, but they are incredible, we, and you we know put together, them. Yeah, we put together a dream team, like a like a dream cast, and we, yeah. we've reached out to them, and they all said yes, and we're like, are you sure? <laughs> uh, and but they, in the coolest way. We're yeah. very cool and professional. Yeah, no, and we're really, really excited to, I think we're going to be announcing them this week for Gen yeah. Con. Yeah. Um, so, be on the lookout for for who we're bringing in yeah. for that, and then well, it's not us. I'll let you know right now. <laughs> Just like cross Wait. us off your off your list. You canceled. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm I'm washing my hair that that <laughs> week. But so so Tales of Valiant. That's based on the uh, the five E OGL. So, yes, yeah. it's, it's based on their. I think it's a Black Flag. Yeah. So Black the, Flag Gaming is the their response to the OGL like c- controversy. And when we heard about it being promised and like Tales of Valiant, the, the thing I loved is that they said it was like the most finished new game you're ever going to read. And then when I read the rules, I was like, yeah, well, yeah, they weren't lying. Yeah. yeah it, it feels very put together because they've been doing this for so long. They know what players want. And it's like, 
as a player. That was Vin Diesel. That was Vin Diesel. <laughs> fucking celebrities in the back here. As a player, it feels good. Like you're looking at the character off and you're like, thank you. Like they're all gifts. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it'll go well. I, I know it'll go well. I love the system. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, and I, I heard that someone else might be taking over the GM reins for a little tiny bit. Is, is this something you can talk about? or? Yeah. I guess we haven't really, like, confirmed yet. But, yeah, I'm going to be GMing a little campaign after that. Probably starting October, and I'm very excited. It's fucking big fucking shoes to fill. Thanks, Dane. But I do my best. My shoes are bigger, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's... We can't have you come on. You can't. I'll... <laughs> Fucking die. <laughs> but anyway, something we haven't di- dove into is, are the live games. You've been doing uh, live games in front of like real, actual people yeah. Yeah. in person. What's what's that like? I love it. So, yeah, it's 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 a it's a unique experience. It's it's fun to. There's something special about like sharing stories with people. Um, and that's a that's a gift that we all get to do when we when we do like actual play podcasts. Um, you get to, to share a podcast with an audience and, and people yeah. and yourself and your friends. Um, but there's there's like that immediate reaction of like getting like, getting feedback from the audience. Yeah, when you hit that that twenty or then that one, and like people lose it uh, when something crazy happens, and like or we did a live show recently enough where the audience had a hand in it and. Instead of using that hand to help us, used it to make things harder for us, which was yeah. honestly delightful. That sounds super fun. I would totally do that in a heartbeat. Do you have any uh, live uh, shows coming up pl- we, scheduled? We may have one, but I guess it's not confirmed, so we can't announce it yet. Yes. But the last few were like PAX Unplugged, Fan Expo, Comic Con, so hopefully some more repeats. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Dane, you do not only do you the GM, you also do uh, a lot of the editing. Yeah. Uh, so, how's that experience? Like, what, what kind of do you have? Have you? Uh, is this something you're made for? Is this something you dread? What's your experience like? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Like, it's it's nice to be able to. Um, we we have another podcast which we had given away to an editor for a while, and it, like that was a very. It, it wasn't a tough process. It was it was someone where I was like, yeah, you could do that. But no quest is it because it's so narrative and because it's so emotional. It's it's hard to give like that that part of my my baby away. Um, I I think it would take a very very talented editor and a lot of money for me to to want to pay someone to to edit it or be able to be <laughs> able to yeah. Um, so it's it's tough. It's it's a lot of work, um, especially when we do uh, to. Like we're running two campaigns simultaneously. We're doing weekly. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's it's. I spend most of my time editing the show and making sure that it sounds good and making sure that it's it's something that we're proud of and and confident with. Um, but it's it's worth it when you get like like we mentioned like when we get those messages off the Discord and yeah. and from our audience who who or say we that win like best production in Canada. Yes, we we also want a Canadian know. podcast award for best production for the show. Um, yeah. uh, so. It's it. Those are those are things that like really justify the, the the work that we we put into it. I mean, I know like uh, so I know uh, if you've got like a two hour recording, it, there's a, a lot of hours that goes into listening uh, back to it and, and going through edit. So how how, ma- how many hours do you think you spend on uh, on an episode? I would say anywhere between like six and ten, depending on on what the content of the the episode is. Uh, if it's a if it's a combat episode, if it's a combat heavy episode, there's a lot more editing. There's a lot more like removing dice rolls, removing rule checks, removing math. Um, <laughs> a lot of people. One of my favorite comments is someone was like, "Damn, you guys, you guys do math real quick." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Don't you dare! Don't no you idea. Dare tell <laughs> them. No, 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 no. no. We, we, we no. do not. No, you're not allowed to tell um, them. Let them think we're really smart. The the combat episodes, I edit like." At least half an hour out of, um, and most of it is Ryan doing math. <laughs> oh, throw Ryan under the bus! Yeah, it is. Damn, it's, it is. He's, it's not that he's bad at math; it's that he does the most damage. He does the most damage. He rolls the most amount of dice, so yeah. he has a lot, a lot of numbers yeah. to to add. So, uh, so besides Starfinder and and Eldritch uh, Autom- Automata. 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 That's hard to say, especially it is. after we did a whole video. About it. Yeah, we, we, we had to reach out to the creators and be like, "How do we say how it do properly?" We say it? What other types of systems are you interested in in doing on your show? Not just in private life, but on your show. I think the one we've 
like we know we want to do and we're waiting on it to be like officially released is Stupot. So Stupot yeah. is a cozy fantasy game about retiring your adventurers into like village life or like city life or however you want to spin it. Like basically like setting up a B&B or a, like a tavern or yeah. whatever. We played it before in the playtest, and it is one of my favorite things we've ever done. So we really want to like hit it when it comes out properly. I kickstarted a while ago. Mm. It's coming out. It's an amazing game. I'm so excited. So that's coming up. I want to run a Morkborg for these boys. I'm not going to tell you what I want to do with it because it's a secret. Yeah, it's there's a lot of really cool systems. Like I'm I'm really into uh, Blazing Dark, uh, Masks, and uh, City of Mists, mm -hmm. uh, Orbital Blues. Which yeah, I want to do Orbital Blues as well. Yeah, it's there's there's a lot of really great TTRPGs out there, and yeah. I, I think a lot of them have really great story and narrative potential for actual plays. Like some of them, like like Orbital Blues specifically. Like you, you sit down and you like you crack that book and you're like, oh, this is meant you're to be just, played. You're just in the vibe, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, you're you're meant to play this on an actual play. Like it, it seems so suited for that medium. And I will also say I don't know much about it, but what I do know about a rom com drama bomb is one thing I want to pick up this weekend and maybe play. I've seen that mentioned uh, a lot. Yeah. yeah, it seems really cool. Three player, ninety minutes. It seems very fucking cool, so that's on the horizon. I don't really know if we're going to find it. I don't know if it's available at Gen Con. I hope it is. Maybe on, on Patreon? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll find it. We'll get it. I'll get it one way or another, but that's on my horizon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we should do we should do a Brindlewood Bay. It's like the old ladies. Yes, yes with the yeah. the like the knitting the group and the, yeah, knitting yeah. Group. yeah. Yeah. I want to get that for my partner. So if that's around, I will also do that. Yeah. yeah. And There's, also play it. So, so sp speaking of Gen Con, what do you guys, besides these games we mentioned, what else are you excited to, to do here at Gen Con? Uh, so the ARPGs, we really want to meet up with them and yeah. maybe hang out a little bit. I hear they're they doing suck. interviews <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, with people and like it would be kind Obviously, of nice. Obviously, they're not going to pick us because yeah. we're not, you know, we're not cool enough. They're so <laughs> fucking cool. But if we could, that would be rad. Uh, we're going to go see the Glass Cannon Critic or, uh, Delta Green show tomorrow morning. At this point, it's gonna maybe not be the funnest early morning, yeah. but you know, <laughs> it'll be. A I morning. wonder who we should blame. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see the Starfinder 2E playtest, which is great because we did a sneak peek of Starfinder 2E a while ago on the podcast, mm -hmm. and they've like added skittermanders and stuff. So I'm really excited to see how that has developed. Uh, we're seeing like oops, all himbos. Bard we're going City? to Bard City with you guys. Maybe. I, I hope we go. Yeah. We better be. I, I talked you into it, but. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a few things going on. And then just like meet up with some friends. Like the animals are here. You know, there's a lot of people who we really want to meet up with. Like a lot of the Crit Awards people. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. So, so, so Niall's been doing a lot of talking. Do you want to say anything? Um, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It's it. I, I mirror a lot of the things that Niall's saying. Um, I'm really, really excited. We we came down here for uh, the Crit Awards, which unfortunately got canceled. But we got to meet people who are also nominated and our fellow nominees, and that's that's why we came out is to <laughs> is to meet the people in the community, and and we're really excited to meet the people uh, that we we know online. And we don't really get to see often. We're we're Canadian based, so uh, a lot of the the TTRPG friends that we have are, are states based. Yeah. Um, so it'll be nice to, to just like get a chance to like hang out with everyone and see everyone and 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 foster the community that the TTRPG community like really is. Like it's it's such a weird and strange thing that exists but cool that, yeah it's it, like it, it's it's very cool because like it really is a community like you yeah. once you know someone and, and you kind of like interact online it's a little bit when you show up and you're like oh shit like 28 people i know but yeah. like do i know them but i kind of do and i will say my favorite thing is when you find a like twitter friend or whatever and like convert them to real friend like you know <laughs> yes you fucking guys I, it's, it, that makes my soul so happy. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 why we when when the Critter Awards were canceled, we were like, we still got to go to Gen Con because there's still a lot of people we want to see. Yeah. Um. And and also, you guys were on the list. A lot of money that we had already <laughs> spent. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's a, it's it's really exciting. It's it's a it's a great time to uh, feel a part of a community that really means a lot to us. Uh, I'm so glad I was able to lure you into this sketchy alley. <laughs> How did uh. you find us? 
What was where? Uh, but how did you know we well, would be here? I, I I sent you a link and you clicked on it and that you know let me put this, this tracking token on your phone. So yeah. So I don't get a free membership to your Patreon? No, no. Fuck. And, and, and no, no reach arounds or anything. <laughs> <laughs> then what are we doing in an alley? <laughs> this sucks. This is the worst alley I've ever gone down. <laughs> I think it's the only alley I've ever gone down that I didn't get a reach around. <laughs> well, you know, the. the Indi uh, Indianapolis is for first, so this is this is a first for you. Uh, I'm glad I was able to share that, and uh, yeah, let's let's all leave him here in the alley. <laughs> now it's uh, now he's doing the interpretive dance, which is awesome. Oh, uh, I was like, I'm gonna keep walking to like hear them stop talking. It's like shit, they're still talking. We're still talking, but. <laughs> I think we're going to wrap up now, but uh, thanks for, for watching a Silver Alert. This has been the, the craziest idea, uh, but I, I, I love these guys. These are, these are super. Hey, well, that's my butt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everybody. And I'm going to edit the fuck out of this, and who knows Don't. what's going to be. <laughs> yeah, why would you edit this? <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody.